All right, let's try our luck with this one. Uh, we're going to try to use the same technique. It's called the comparison test. You can compare with something that you can handle, and then all will be good. At least you'll be happy at the end. So here's the comparison. I know that sine squared of x is always less than or equal to 1. And of course, it's uh, positive or non-negative. Furthermore, uh, I know that uh, if I divide this, I divide everything by x to the third plus the square root of x, where my x's are positive, it wouldn't change the inequality, x to the third plus the square root of x. I could divide by that by uh, the same thing, but it's not going to matter because it's zero in the numerator anyways. Furthermore, based on the previous example, I know I can control this by one over x to the third. And what that means is that the integral of this one from one to infinity with respect to x is less than or equal to the integral of that one from 1 to infinity with respect to x, and that's less than or equal uh, to the integral of this one from 1 to infinity with respect to x. And this one we had already computed was finite. This one converged. These are all positive things and these are smaller. That forces this one right here to converge. And so it's a famous technique when this integral is just, you know, not for you um, because maybe, you know, you're mortal, then we'll just be happy knowing whether or not the, the integral converges or not, whether it's finite. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Come back for another one, for that one right there.